Good evening and a very warm welcome to First Issues. The tax year came to an end on the 30th of June last month and as is the case every year, the Botswana Unified Revenue Service or BURS has given individuals that earn more than 3,000 pula a month a whole three months, that's until the 30th of September this year, to submit their income tax returns. Despite the three months given to taxpayers to file their income tax returns each year, we have become accustomed to seeing unbelievably long queues form at BURS in the very last week given for filing in September, and additional service points having to be set up in our malls and so forth to handle this influx of clients. This cannot be good for getting taxpayers to comply and submit a simple form. And although once in a while defaulters are given a scare by tax evasion news stories, profiling individuals and business people who have their accounts frozen and assets seized as a result of tax liabilities sometimes exceeding millions of pula, the hurdles such as physical distance, ignorance of tax procedures and the importance of paying tax still impede compliance. This year, however, could be different. Firstly, we're encouraging all those who struggle to comply not to wait until the last minute, where you could spend several hours in a mind-numbing queue. You can beat the congestion and go as early as tomorrow. Also, as some have already discovered, BURS e-service channels are now fully operational, meaning that both businesses and the individual can now spare themselves a headache and valuable working hours by filing their returns online, anytime and anywhere. Tonight on First Issues, we discuss the BURS e-platform in depth, complete with a demonstration to help our viewers better familiarize themselves with this relatively new platform. We thank you for joining us. Welcome back to First Issues. Our research into the topic of tax revealed that most of us do not relate our demands on government for better public utilities or even better education to this particular revenue stream. We don't acknowledge that generations paid taxes for what we have today. That schools, hospitals, courts of law, roads, public transit points and parks. And that our taxes that we pay today allow us to pass along these benefits to future generations. That's our children, grandchildren and great-grandchildren. With diamond revenues as they currently are, the state will most likely be depending more and more on the resources collected via the Botswana Unified Revenue Services to keep this country going. At the beginning of the program, we focused on the benefits that BURS e-services may have in store for us. But this platform could also allow the revenue service to address challenges it has cited in the past, such as manpower constraints, low levels of understanding amongst the public, which translates into low compliance levels, and lack of proper IT systems. But instead of guessing, we ask our first guest this evening, Lebesani Mosu from BURS, to tell us the needs they sought to address with the implementation of e-services. The government of Botswana has a national ICT strategy and you know, generally known as my, my LAM. So this initiative here, BURS, also dovetails from that government uh, document where government is encouraging horror to the use of ICT to improve service delivery. So, you know, we took a cue from there as BRS and we decided that we are going to try and improve service delivery and we are going to apply, you know, ICT, in particular e-services, e-filing, to, to the endeavor. We found out that, you know, it was really difficult for Botswana sometimes to reach us you know, in particular taxpayers. They are spread all over geographically, everywhere. You know, small settlements, uh, big villages, uh, towns and cities, you know. But we as bears, we couldn't be in every place like that. So we thought it imp important to put another medium where Botswana could, could reach us, you know, and a medium that is not physically constrained, you know, by, you know, 
physical structures such as offices and so on. So we put it up there as a tool to improve service delivery for Botswana and also as a way of you know expanding our reach. We also put the e-services out there so that um, you know we can lessen the costs of complying with revenue laws. I always give an example that you know if if you are a teacher sometimes you know a teacher a nurse you are a taxpayer. You could be in a small settlement somewhere and your tax liability could actually be as much as 50 tebe even one pula you know. Now to reach a bear's office you might have to to go on a bus and pay you know 20 to 30 pula just to go and settle that small liability. You can see Ella from that perspective or from one that is not cost, cost effective. And therefore we thought to ourselves, look, if we put up a medium that can reach Botswana as much as possible where they are and they can use it and then they don't have to incur extra costs unnecessarily. So that would assist and that would also encourage Botswana to comply with revenue laws. What would you say are the major tax collection challenges that BURS faces? And if are these in any way um, affected by the implementation of these e-services? One of the challenges that we have as well as a tax, tax administration, we said, we cannot be in every point you know, in the country. But we still need to collect from every taxpayer no matter where they are. So how do we reach our taxpayers? So this assists us in, in uh, enriching our taxpayers. And therefore, in, by so doing, it also means that we are able to collect, we are able to pass information to our taxpayers. We also had challenges with uh, you know, integrity of our records because it means if you submit a manual record, we have to recapture the very same information that you put in there. And human errors you know, exist, as you know. So if we put the capturing of information back to the, to the owner of the information, it improves the chances of that information you know, being correct and not having a third intervention. And also manual records by, by themselves are, are difficult to handle. You know, they take up space and um, you know, their longevity and their retrieval is not as easy as when you have to retrieve things online. One of the challenges we were also having was that um, we had a lot, a lot of lost correspondence. You know, some Botswana would leave, they would change addresses, they would not have time to be able to alert us, so we would send mail and it will come back to us. Sometimes it, it won't come back to us and it still won't reach the taxpayer. So an electronic platform, it means Botswana has a, problem, a place where they can go and find all their information relating to their tax matters. Welcome back to First Issues as we continue to speak to the Director of IT at the Botswana Unified Revenue Service about their e-services platform. Now asking how the initial uptake of the service has been. We haven't really gone out to Botswana and, you know, to encourage them to, 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 to go on to, you know, the platform. We concentrated predominantly on building a solid, secure platform, you know, whose efficacy we can also trust, before we told Botswana substantively about it. It is only this year we will be out there now telling Botswana, marketing and publicizing the platform and educating Botswana more on the e-services. So we cannot say we are unhappy with those who have stumbled their way or found their way to it. We are actually happy that Botswana are actually technical savvy that even when you don't really say much, they are actually able to find the service. We have had Botswana who have been using it since we started with the pilots because up until now really we call those our pilots and they have used that and they have used it faithfully. And we believe that they will also join with us in telling other Botswana or, you know, there is a service out there and there is a tool out there, you know, that can actually make your life much easier in terms of you know, filing your tax return or getting information from bears, even communicating with bears in all other areas, and paying your tax, of course. Clearly, Bazan have been waiting for a more efficient way to do these sort of things. Um, do you have an idea of how many of these early adopters you may have had? 
they vary depending on on the text type that you you actually have mm -hmm. but we we have i think about 1500 faithful Botswana who who use it you know month in and month out but we we have targets that we want to reach in terms of the the, the uptake of the, the service and the targets are as follows um, by the end of this year we are hoping that for individuals that is uh, that would have an uptake here forty percent and that will for corporates and for what we call pay yes UN will also be at forty percent. Then we hope that for VAT we would have gone to sixty percent and that for LTU we will also be at sixty percent. But our uptake strategy spans three years and we hope that at the end of three years um, individuals would be at 70% and that payee as well as um, corporates will be at 60% and that will be at 80% for VAT. Oh, we also have what we call our large taxpayers. These are the big corporations, the ones who bring the most money. We hope that at the end of the year, at the end of our strategy in three years time, that Bonede will be at 90%. And for, for this financial year, we hope that with them, we'll be able to also reach 60%. The 2009-2010 BURS report indicates that 387 cases of tax defaulters were identified. In the same period, close to 289 million bula was under appeal with regards to tax arrears. Does the introduction of e-services in any way address such challenges? If it is difficult to file, if it is costly to file, you know, chances are we'll have more defaulters than if it was easy and convenient and readily available. So that will contribute to Botswana being able to comply because, you know, they won't have the difficulties that they've been facing, you know, in being able to do. And then for us also at birth, it means we can get back to Botswana on their tax matters much more quickly and therefore assist them to be able to comply much, much faster. We know that right now you could put up your, your, your return and you may not get any acknowledgement from bears for some time. You know, and you may not know what has happened to your return until maybe a month, a month and a half, two months down the line. But with the e-filing, you know exactly what is happening to your return and at what stage it is, and you know much quicker. So that would actually, that should help you Prepare yourself financially before, um, you know, maybe the next filing season is upon you and you should be able to, to comply on time. Um, for bears in terms of enforcement, it also means that, you know, when Botswana are filing and they are putting up the information themselves, you know, who knows better about their financials than the person themselves? You no longer have, you know, a, a bears person maybe in the process also working with you on your return and maybe saying do it this way and this way. You can actually do it the way you know your finances are supposed to be. And as the owner of that information, I think you hold more authority over it than anyone else. Then bears can only come to you to, to validate. It also means that for bears, you know, the resources that it used to use to either to, to capture or to, to validate or whatever that Botswana were doing can now be rechanneled to assist in Botswana to, to comply, either by going out to educate Botswana a little bit more or by going to enforce, to do audits, to find out what I mean in, in a nutshell. So that will go a long way in terms of who will have, for us, who will have more resources and we'll be able to use those resources to channel them towards enforcement and obviously to up the compliance. Filing your return using the platform is relatively simple. You visit www.burs.org.bw. You register as a user by filling in your personal information and choosing a username of your choice. It does not have to be related to your real name if you choose. And for now, 
While a cell phone verification system is being set up to do away with this in future, you also have to download and complete an activation form from the same website to submit to BURS along with your Omang for verification processes. BURS will then provide you with a temporary password that will give you access to the platform and that you can change online from there. Once on the platform, you choose amongst the various services available to you, fill in the relevant fields, pay online if you choose, and submit. What is even more convenient about this platform is that you can view past returns, as well as calculate how much tax you owe in advance using the form and pay as and when you can before the deadline. Your returns can also be generated in PDF form, which looks more like the physical forms we're used to filling in now. It is as straightforward as that. Welcome back to First Issues, as we now head to Grant Thornton, one of the leading international organizations of tax assurance and advisory firms, chatting to Rajesh Narasiman, partner in charge of outsourcing and taxation, to see if indeed BURS e-platforms have had any impact on their local client offering. Welcome to the program, Mr. Narasiman. Um, as the partner in charge of taxation at Grand Thornton, um, how would you say uh, e-services have affected your client offering? At Grand Thornton, we offer a range of services. And um, filing of tax return is the procedure that is, that is adopted right at the end. People, client come to Grand Thornton basically to seek our advice assist them in computing taxes, helping them to check whether what they have done is correct. So e-filing as such, filing of a tax return as such is the last thing that happens. And uh, with e-filing that has been introduced by BORS, it has actually complemented our services. It has made it much more easier for us to do things, made us more efficient in what we do and what services we offer to the client. Uh, at the moment, the services that has been offered by BERS on the e-platform, if you look at it, VATA has been used for quite some time, and it is, it, is a bit, it is a success. The filing of VAT return online is much more easier and simpler. There are other services which have now been introduced, which includes uh, withholding tax on salaries, other withholding taxes, personal tax return filing, and corporate tax return filing. The platform itself, if you look at it, has many advantages. It could make the life of every taxpayer much more easier, simpler, uh, in the sense that they wouldn't have to go to BOR or stand in those big queues. So all these things can be cut off, and they can sit in their offices and with the touch of a button would be able to finish their work. So how would you say, uh, from your observation, uh, the general uptake by Botswana has been to these platforms? At the moment, if you look at the number of taxpayers who are registered, the amount is actually, uh, the number is actually very small. Uh, as far as corporate taxpayers are concerned, they are actually less than 100 taxpayers. And as far as individuals are concerned, it is around 1,000 individuals. And most of them are with BORS. Uh, so, as if you look at it, it's more than 95% of the people have not registered for, 95% of the taxpayers have not registered for e-services. It, 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 it is, it's a wonderful system, so making use of it, but, uh, as I already said, make it make things much more easier and simpler. I know this may not be... Uh, your particular um, area of expertise, but do you have any idea as to maybe why there's such low levels of uptake? I mean, anything you may have heard from your clients as well? It's a new system. It's been in, in practice for uh, less than two years. So people are getting onto it. The first 
first e platform that came out was for VAT. So people, there's a lot of people have registered for VAT and they have found it quite as useful and uh, much simpler. They have recently introduced other platforms such as withholding taxes, etc. So I guess it is just a question of time before which people make it e may, uh, register themselves for e-filing. It's clearly one of the early adopters to this platform. Um, would you say there have been any teething problems, any challenges uh, you have experienced or maybe foresee with regards to B BURS and their e-services? There are few challenges that is there. I mean, whenever you have a computer, there are challenges which people normally face. It's, it is bound to be there. As far as e the e-platform is concerned, the, one of the major challenges and which we have faced at Crown Thornton and which our clients have also faced is the making of payment. You have to come out of the e-platform and get into the EFT system to do it. That is one of the one challenge that we have faced. The other challenges which uh, we feel that will come through is uh, at the moment for filing of PAYE return, there is only one password and people or uh, because uh, because PAYE is a very sensitive area, it is felt that we should there should be another password for other people to make use of it. You can't have one password where the person who is uploading the payroll has access to the entire company's financial systems. So clients are a bit skeptical about that. So that is something BORS is working at the moment. They ensure that uh, they find a way to do it. Uh, from uh, from various discussions we have had with uh, BRS, one of the suggestions that we are making it for them to make e-filing a success, they should start introducing uh, it in when people register for taxes. As you go to BRS to register your company or your personal returns, there should be a column or a line which says, "Give me your what is the." e-filing e uh, username which you want. So that will immediately tell the person or the client that this is a way forward for the others. Instead of you for registering for purpose and then going on a later date to apply for an e-filing address. Thank you once again for tuning into our program this evening. Do feel free to share your thoughts with us via SMS or any one of our social media platforms. Bunna Lebohang Mutwa Iso wrote in last week in response to our episode on ICT in Botswana, as well as the Innovation Prize for Africa Awards that were hosted in Botswana for the very first time, saying, It was a great show, eye-opening and exciting. Next year's Innovation Prize should go to Botswana. I feel we have been greatly motivated to take an innovative step to show our capability as Botswana in impacting change and innovation in Africa and the whole globe. We're happy to play a part in inspiring a culture of technological innovation and aim to show you more of what we are capable of as a nation. But for now, we wish you good night.